The coolest project I worked on while at Georgia Tech in grad school with humans interacting with robots was when I programmed a robot to actually reach out and touch a person's arm. So normally, robots and humans just do not touch each other, especially, especially in an industrial setting where robots should be in a cage, safely away from a human so that the robot doesn't hurt them. But in a healthcare or a home setting where robots will be driving around in our homes, you, you can't help but maybe bump into a robot every now and then, or your Roomba, you might run into your Roomba and that kind of thing. So I really wanted to push the limits of what was possible and maybe even comfortable for, for humans where we're not really around robots that often. And what would people actually do if a robot reached out and touched their arm? So I designed an experiment where I asked people just that. I had a robot reach out and touch someone's arm in a healthcare setting, A, to either provide comfort, like a nurse might do, like it'll be okay, your doctor will be here shortly, or touch in the same way, but just change what the robot said. Oh, I'm cleaning your arm, you know, we're preparing it for some sort of procedure. Overall, I found that people were actually open to either type of touch, but they really preferred the touch that was strictly instrumental or really related to the task. So we were kind of getting into the psychological aspect of how certain types of touches might be weird versus others. And actually found the same pattern in how humans experience human-human touch. And we often do see that pattern manifest itself in human-robot interaction, but not always.